Ravings from the grave and salutations everyone, Dr. Redfield and Ripley here as always, and this week it's horror movie trivia time. I have a prize in this box and I want to give it away to one of you. What's in the box? What's in the box? Well, I'm glad you asked, Ripley. It's actually a bag of bloody, wonderful, disgusting, gooey guts, and I feel like it's the perfect prize for this competition. Are you interested? Then let's play a game. I would like to start by taking this time and welcoming all newcomers. And if you enjoy explorations of the weird and bizarre, be sure to like and subscribe down below. This is for science and your participation is crucial for the future of humanity and entertainment. Please do not send any specimens or gifts without being properly secured by either a waterproof body bag or a garbage bag with duct tape. Sometimes science can be messy. Now this week we're going to have a trivia competition and I hope everyone at home participates. It's very simple. All you have to do is watch this video, answer these questions, and reach out to us at things to rot your brains at gmail.com. Remember, that's brains with a Z. The winner of this competition and my wonderful bag of guts will be the first person to answer all the questions correctly and reach out to us before April 21st, 2024. I am 100% serious. I will be shipping these guts to one of you lucky viewers. If you cheat, we will know and the consequences will be extreme. Thank you for that warning, Ripley. And let's not waste any more time, folks. The Things to Rot Your Brain's horror movie trivia competition has officially been activated now. Warm up question. Who was the killer in Friday the 13th? You don't need to officially answer this one, but if you get it wrong, you probably haven't seen the movie Scream. Or the original Friday the 13th. Question number one. In 1987, Joel Schumacher directed a movie and tried to make vampires young, hip, and sexy. One was apparently sexier than others, and this brings up our first question. How many times was the name Michael said in the movie The Lost Boys? Michael, Michael, Michael. Question number two. The release of summer blockbuster movies hasn't always been the spectacle that we see today. Thanks, Marvel, but technically it's not their fault. This originally started with one movie. What was the first summer blockbuster to pave the way for all other productions and reinvent the way movies were released and advertised? Question number three. Some people claim that 28 Days Later was the first movie to have running zombies. First off, they were not zombies. They were rage-infected assholes. And second off, they most certainly were not the first zombies to run. So this question is, what film had the first instance of running zombies? Question number four. In 1981, Rick Baker won the first Oscar for special effects makeup in a feature movie for the film An American Werewolf in London. Every once in a while, horror gets recognized on the red carpet, but it really never truly gets the appreciation it deserves. Now, I gotta ask, what was the first horror movie to win an Oscar for Best Picture? Question number five. Bram Stoker's Dracula was originally published and released in 1897 before the turn of the 20th century. What video game company is technically older than this tale? And now a word from our sponsor. Try the only medication to postpone afterlife resurrection. If keeping your loved ones safe is a choice, then Zombranex is the only choice for you. Side effects may include nausea, disorientation, diarrhea, blurred vision, constipation, hallucinations, bleeding ulcers, increased body temperature, decreased body temperature, mild rigor mortis, loss of teeth, dry mouth, wet tongue, violent outbreaks, cannibalism, and the ability to hear the unending screams of your dead ancestors while your eyes are open. Zombranex, the cure for humanity. Question number six. The original Evil Dead movie had college students battle demonic possession in a remote cabin in the woods. There was a book of the dead, plenty of blood, and some weird tree shit. And that naturally brings up the question, what college did Ash and his friends attend? Question number seven. Many actors have made appearances or have starred in multiple horror movie franchises. 
zombies, vampires, slashers, and yet only one person has the distinguished honor of being killed by a predator, alien, and a terminator. What actor or actress was it? Question number eight. In 1978, John Carpenter released one of the first slasher movies of all times with Halloween and Michael Myers became an immediate icon. There was very little blood, lots of tension, and a fantastic final girl. You can't kill the boogeyman, and Halloween will live on past all of us. And now with this question, I've got to ask, what was the original title of Halloween supposed to be? Question number nine. Many horror movie franchises have been converted into video games. Nightmare on Elm Street, Friday the 13th, The Evil Dead, these are prime examples. Not necessarily good games, but games none the least. Sometimes it works the other way around though. And with that in mind, what are two horror movie franchises that originated as video games? Two. Question number 10. Simple, straightforward, and right to the point. What is the highest grossing horror movie of all time? Tiebreaker. And in the event of a tiebreaker, I thought I would add one final question. What is my favorite way of dispatching a zombie? Get creative, folks. The prize is on the line. Things to Rot Your Brain's Horror Movie Trivia Contest. And those are the questions for the Things to Rot Your Brain's Horror Movie Trivia Contest. Best of luck, everyone, and be sure to submit all entries to Things to Rot Your Brains at gmail.com. Remember, that's Brains with a Z by April 21st, 2024. That box of guts depends on it. Be sure to like and subscribe for more explorations of insanity. And because she said the word insanity, that's our time for this week. As always, I'm Dr. Redfield and this has been Ripley, reminding you to play and slay and play until dead. Doctor, I have one final question. Is that okay? Sure, what you got? If Jason Voorhees was to remove his hockey mask, do you think he would let me sit on his face and bust like a gusher? For fuck's sake, Ripley, that was wildly inappropriate, but I, I understand at this point. Ha, 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 you ha, folks ha. at home do not have to answer her question unless you really want to. Best of luck, everyone. Grey Matter Commander, out. <laughs> <laughs>